Hi guys, Larissa Heskett here, and I am going to share with you my entries for the May Arts Design Team Call. Um, we had to come up with a project with the theme of Spring Garden, and I decided to do an Enchanted Spring Garden theme. Um, so all of my projects, I have used the Graphic 45 Once Upon a Springtime paper line. Um, Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist. Um, all of the cardstock is Coordinations. And then all of the glue products that I've used are Helmar. Um, and then all of the fabulous ribbons are May Arts. Um, the first card that I designed, I used one of the Graphic 45 window um, pieces. And I popped up the center window using Helmar's liquid scrap dots. Um, the ribbon that I used was the wire pearl ribbon from May Arts. Um, it comes on a roll and there's probably about two inches worth of wire in between each of the pearls. Um, and I have been wanting to play with this for so long. Um, but I decided to take my stylus and wrap the wire around my stylus. And um, my stylus, it wrapped around three times. Um, and then I spaced it out and made my letters for the front of my card. And I just love the way that it turned out. I am so excited. And I have so many more ideas that I want to try using this ribbon. Um, I just love it. Um, but to stick it onto my card, I used Helmar gemstone glue. Um, the gemstone glue dries completely clear, so I know you guys cannot see um, where any of the glue marks are um, or anything. And this stuff is not coming off. I mean, this is holding this on for life. Um, you would have to rip the entire card in order to get this off. Um, so that's another thing that I like about it. Once it's on, it holds your project on for good. Um, so anyway, I hope that you guys will try this May Arts ribbon. Um, I love it. And um, try it out with Helmer's gemstone glue. It's fabulous. Um, the next little card that I made was just a little gift card card. Um, to hold a gift card for a babysitter or a mom or a friend on her birthday. Um, and I went ahead and punched out the bottom with the Fiskars flower punch. And then I um, cut little strips of my paper and folded them and then layered them. And then I went ahead and used the 5 8 inch um, lace ribbon from May Arts and the 1 8 um, turquoise velour ribbon and then I used a metallic wire ribbon um, for the little flower and um, I will show you guys a trick later on on how to make these fabulous little flowers um, they're just too cute and too fun to make so there's that little gift card um, this ne the next two things are a kit or a set, I mean not a kit, <laughs> or a set. Um, the little gift card and the little gift bag to put your present in. Um, so I went ahead and designed the card in a similar way. I folded the strips of the paper and then I cut out a piece down at the bottom and stamped um, using an Allie Edwards stamp. Um, and I punched the same little border punch at the top. Um, I used the gold metallic ribbon again um, to wrap around my card. And then to make my flower, I used a one and a half inch peach satin um, and made my little flower base. And then I used the five eighths lace ribbon for the center. And then I used some of the um, gold metallic for the very middle of the flower on the top. Um, and I will share how to make this with you um, on my next video as well. Um, for my cute little gift bag, um, it is so easy to do this, you guys. If you have um, your paper packs or whatever, this literally took about 
five minutes to throw together and it just makes um, makes it so cute and just makes a meaning meaningful special gift for somebody in your life um, I went ahead and used another one of the little frame pieces and I stamped with gratitude again I punched out the borders and then I glued it onto my bag and then my cute little centerpiece here um, I actually just made a bow out of the gold and green metallic ribbon um, and then I used a heat gun to kind of heat it up a little bit to make it um, all cute and then I took a wrinkled wire um, a four inch wrinkled wire ribbon from May Arts and I um, circled it around I used um, Helmar fabric glue, glue and glued it in the middle and then I stuck a cute little clip on the back and I used a graphic 45 brad in the center and then I sprayed it with glimmer mist um, and then I went ahead and fluffed up the edges with the wire um, and it just makes the cutest little flower and it literally took two minutes to make um, and then with the clip um, all you have to do is take your bow um, on the edge of your gift bag and take your clip and just slide it right on top of the bow and you have the cutest little topper for your little gifts um, and then the recipient that you're giving it to can either wear the little um, flower or they can keep it and reuse the bow for another gift that they're giving somebody later on so um, Nobody should be getting boring gifts out there. This is so easy and so super cute. It looks like you spent way more than five minutes um, making this. Um, the next project that I made was a canvas project. Um, but before that, I wanted to share this with you guys. Um, originally, I had wanted to use the Butterfly Garden Collection by Pink Paisley. Um, I'm sure a lot of you have seen it and I'm sure a lot of you have been getting it um, but I wanted to share this ribbon with you um, the silk 36 um, matches this perfectly um, oh my goodness I am so super excited to design with this um, and I wanted to share that with you guys so that if any of you out there were looking for ribbons that would match um, with this paper line um, you would know what to get. So the May Arts SK36 um, matches this perfectly and I also have the silk in the white um, that I can glimmer mist but um, I just had to share this cute little tip with you because um, it's so fabulous. So um, anyway then my next project was a canvas project. Um, I went ahead and painted a 12 by 12 canvas um, piece with um, Tim Holtz's crackle paints and then I went thicker on the edges um, just to add some more detail um, and then I did the white crackle paint for the clouds um, I just really like the way that it turned out um, for the Sun I used a book paper and then I covered, I painted it yellow and then I covered it with blings. And then for the sun rays, I used the May Arts mesh ribbon. Um, and I just love this stuff. It's a wire mesh ribbon um, and it's just awesome. Um, I have several ideas for this um, and I can't wait to share them. Um, for my tree, I was planning on using ribbon. Um, but I couldn't get it to work um, with what I had pictured in my mind. So I went ahead and cut this tree out um, using the Cricut um, Tinkerbell and Friends cartridge. Uh, and I went ahead and did three layers so you can see how much dimension that it has. Um, but what I did for the leaves was I took the May Arts leaf ribbon and I cut off all the little leaves and I sprayed them with glimmer mist and then I stuck them in between the little openings in the top of the tree um, to make it more three-dimensional and I just love the way it looks 
um, it totally makes the tree look um, realistic. So, um, and then just, I just used um, Helmar's fabric glue to glue them on um, so I know that they aren't moving. And then I went over it and sealed the whole thing with the glue and seal um, by Ranger. Um, and I love it. It just, it turned out super cute. Um, down at the bottom, I wanted to add something to ground my art piece. So I went ahead and used the jute ribbon from May Arts. Um, I went ahead and painted it and then sprayed it with glimmer mist. And um, I did three rows um, just to kind of make it look like grass and then to ground my project. Um, for each of the flowers, I used May Arts ribbons. Um, I used a gold mesh ribbon for this one. And then I used a metallic ribbon, wired ribbon for the center. Um, I used a white lace with a yellow scalloped ribbon. And then I used the 1 8 inch green velour ribbon for the stems and the little um, brighter green leaves for the leaves. Um, I made another one of the peach flowers using the five or an inch and a half um, satin peach ribbon with the five eighths inch lace ribbon and the one and a half inch gold metallic wired ribbon. Then I used the yellow rickrack ribbon um, to make kind of like a daffodil or a buttercup. And then I used the wire mesh ribbon for the center. I used the white um, linen, faux linen um, ribbon for this cute little daisy flower. And then I used the gold glitter dot ribbon and a metallic purple wired ribbon for the center. Um, I really like the way that all of the flowers turned out. They're just super, super cute. And then I sprayed all of them with Glimmer Mist to kind of tone down everything to make it look more enchanting. Um, and then for my little fairy, um, I wanted her little outfit to look more 3D. Um, so I went ahead and cut some more of the leaves from the May Arts leaf ribbon trim and used them to layer on her skirt and then at the top I used some of the Prima e-line pearls um, and then I also cut one of the leaves for her little headband um, and folded it across and I just think it turned out super cute um, and then I used the Windy Vecchi and Ranger Clearly um, art piece um, to cut for her wings um, to give her more dimension and stuff so that when you look at her sideways um, it looks like she's flying above the flowers. Um, and I went ahead and used the Helmar liquid scrap dots to um, prop her up away from the canvas and so you can see how high up she is. Um, I just like the way that it turned out. So anyway, these are my projects for the May Arts Design Team call. And um, I am going to do another video to show you more in depth on how to do um, the flowers that I've made in this video. Um, also on my blog, um, I'll leave the information down below in the description. Um, you can go and look at close-up pictures and I will have everything listed out um, with the numbers and the names of all of the ribbons so that if you want to get your hands on some, you'll know exactly what to look for. Um, so I hope everybody liked everything that I had to show. And if you have any questions, um, please leave a comment and I will get back to you. Um, thanks again for watching and have a fabulous day.